A sister says, my husband is good with me and our kids, but he does not like my family and he doesn't want to meet them. And whenever their topic comes up, he uses bad language for my parents and siblings. And it hurts me immensely. Any advice? Well, we have the long version and the short version. So the short version is don't ever bring the topic to him. That's it. Never discuss your parents or your family or your siblings at all. The longer version would be everybody has a particular shortcoming. We have our own flaws. And if you look in the mirror yourself, you'll find a lot of flaws. So in order for us to understand that we want others to accept us with our shortcomings and flaws, we also have to accept them with their shortcomings and flaws. As long as your husband is kind to you and to the children, and he's a good man, he simply doesn't want to meet your parents or your siblings or your family. He doesn't want to visit them and he doesn't want them to visit him. He simply doesn't like them. So why shove them down his throat? Why force them upon him when Islamically he is not at all obliged to go and visit, to go and speak to them, to go and be courteous to them, though this indicates, if he does, that he is almost perfect person. If I love someone, I love those whom she loves. So I don't care about her parents and siblings, but because they mean so much to her, I would be kind to them and always try to make them happy to see, the, to see their daughter happy. But this is not mandatory upon me. So if I don't want to see my in-laws at all, there's no harm done. I'm not sinful because they're not my kinship. My kinship are from my father and mother's side. These are my in-laws. I'm not obliged to meet them, though it's against the norm. So I would highly advise you to put a lid on it and not to bring their topic to him at all, especially when you know that this triggers him off. Leave him. As long as he doesn't stop you from going, visiting, communicating with them, halas, leave him. Never ask him to come and meet and tell them that because of you, you don't want any of them to speak with him or to invite him to weddings. Just let him be in peace and inshallah, this would work just fine.